business coaching plus strategy for the modern day freight broker. Hey, it's Missy. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. So get some popcorn and let's binge watch all things freight brokerage. I'm helping you become the freight broker everyone loves. Hello there. Today's session is about goals and objectives, and I hope you get something really good out of this and it becomes part of your daily life. Um, the reality is, is only I can put in the work, only you can put in the work to build this business, this book of business. If I had the knowledge I have today, I would be in a whole different place. What I mean by that is I would live by the words that my mentor told me that I must live in my CRM. I would understand that and know that it needs to change from the inside. My CRM must be functional. It must be enjoyable and fun. I love to, to just be fun all the time and, and I must get joy out of it. If I don't get joy out of it, I'm not gonna do it. So you need to find that joy of creating a business that you've always wanted and desire that it doesn't become work, but it becomes fun. And today I hope that I strike and stroke a fire inside of you that will change the way you look at building your business. Let's get into some goals. Goals first and foremost, things that you need to do step by step, um, which is your startup goals, is get a CRM. Second, add 500 plus leads to that CRM, so there's a lot of work that needs to get done in your first week. And thirdly, um, print off your goals and objectives that are in the downloads below. I will say do not start this program unless you have done the startups, the startups. And there are some other things that you need to do, like for the first four months, you need to create a time each month to have a commodity niche. The four commodity niches that I started out with was um, manufacturing, okay? The second one was machinery. The third one was chassis and containers. The fourth one was perishable goods. Those were my four commodity niches. And out of those commodity niches, I created for you down in the sections um, that we go into the weeks, you're gonna see those niches. And I also created for you um, the email sequences that I use personally in my CRM that will be able to aid and help you. So many times I've failed in the past and I want to show you in over the next upcoming weeks ways that you will not fail. Ways that I have borrowed from this blaming culture. I would play this head talk. Um, and just let me know in the comments below if any of these things ring true for you. My head talk started with my parents said I wouldn't amount to anything, and so they must be right. Have you ever heard that? As a kid, I was annoying. They used to call me Eminem, and everyone hated my voice, and that is why no one's buying my services. Has that ever ring true for you? I was a high school dropout, and others were smarter than me, so that's the reason why I'm not succeeding in my business. Well, Others have a better life than, hus than me. They have husbands and they have a support system and they have a community rallying up around them. Well, I didn't have that. I was a single mom with three girls and it was tough and it was I was alone a lot. It was quite lonely. Well, it feels selfish to take time away from my kids and spend countless hours just working on a pipe dream when I should be spending that time with my children. Has that ever rung true to you too? The economy is bad. And thus it is harder. No, these were things that were reading in my mind. The men my mentor says it's possible, but how do I really know if that really it works or is she just smoking something or he, I was born poor and I'll remain poor. All of this head talk was garbage. Your only goal is to turn off that head talk, whatever it may be. And I want you today, I want you today to write down every piece of head talk that has ever created and creeped in your mind. And I want you to stop it now. I want you to download your workbook below. And I want you to write down all of that ugly head talk. And I want you to cross it off your list. And I want us to download the workbook below and put it on your wall someplace where you can see it every day. Do not listen to your head telling you this negative blame. It wasn't until I stopped believing these lies that I told myself, did my life start to make a change, start to make a difference, and I can start to see those changes through monetary value. 
That means I started to earn real cash because I did not believe in that head talk. Every day I needed to start to believe it and see it. And I want the same thing for you. So I want you to download your promise words and get out to my Facebook every day and write down prom hashtag promise words. That way you can be held accountable that you are starting to do a different head talk. If these promise words do not ring true to you, make your own promise words, paste them out on your wall, put them out in the Facebook group and start to encourage others to have their own promise words. Maybe these promise words will be for you. Maybe I'm touching you in a way that my life and the way that I grew up and the way that I was taught and the way that I no longer am gonna walk in that poverty men mindset or no longer believe the words of people that I loved and cared about to tell me that I wasn't gonna make it in life. So what are your promise words? Well, here are some of mine. I was born for a purpose and a plan and that plan is for execution today. Today I'm gonna execute this plan. My voice is a trend setter and everyone I talk to today will hear my sincerity and know that I'm committed to owning a legacy business. I want to stop right there. I heard something very, very hurtful to my heart recently. And one of those was, is that I don't want to make cold calls. I don't want to build my business because I'm fearful that I'm going to promise something to someone and then I'm going to go out of business and I don't want to do that. Oh, it broke my heart. Let's get back into what we can do for promise words. Everything I need is right here and right now. I promise myself today that I'm showing up for my business. My status in life doesn't determine where I can go. Only me showing up today and doing the work will determine where I am going. My self care starts with me building this dream and I must be obsessed about building my legacy business. Economics decisions have nothing to do with open doors today. Every relationship I build is an open door for me. I promise myself that I will not compare myself to others. I do not have social comparison theory. I have God theory. I believe in God that created me and through him all things are possible. I no longer have a poverty mindset and I will not stop until I achieve my goals. Well, in the download below, my dears, you're going to see that I wrote these out for you. But I also, during this, this, this goals and objective, I'm going to, you're going to receive an email very soon. And inside that email, after you finish this, make sure you hit complete. Because if you hit complete, it's going to send you an email and you're going to download your own page that will start to make your own promise words for you. Maybe you just need to make your own promise. Maybe you don't have bad head talking for you. You're one step ahead of all of us. So download that and get to making your promise words and slap it up against your computer above your computer. I'm sorry, on the wall and make sure that you are saying them every day. And just remember that I care about you. I want to see you succeed and I don't want you to live a life of self blaming talk. It's not true. It's not true. And, and remember, peace, love, and cash flow. Melissa. Did that video blow your mind or what? So much information. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications.